Whenever you are looking through your lights, for example, you go through each of these lights right here, you notice the D4 isn't very bright, and that's because the light bulb went out on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that light right there by taking this part apart. All right, so what we're going to do is there's going to be two screws right here. I went ahead and lowered the steering wheel to kind of make sure I have plenty of clearance. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this right here. We're going to pull two of the screws. And uh, what I do with these screws is I keep, keep them in my pocket. Otherwise, they will fall down like that onto the ground. And then uh, I'll get that here in a second. But all this is is just kind of a plastic molding that you're going to see. And then um, you're going to notice that I usually pull from the bottom right, like this. And then from that, we're going to put that down and away. And from this, you're going to see four screws in here, right here. One right here. And then you're going to see one right here, one from the top, and one from the top. We're just going to undo each of these four right here. They're not bad, but just make sure you don't lose the screws like I do. There's going to... Okay. So you're going to remove two screws from here to here. I went ahead and removed those. And then you're going to go ahead and remove these two screws from the bottom right here. And um, make sure you pull it out. And then at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the electricity of the car because we don't really need that. And if you're in kind of the mood to kind of do some cleaning, this is 12 years worth of dust, but I don't normally see it, so I personally don't mind it. But if for those that are fairly clean, um, go ahead and do that. Okay, so you're gonna loosen this up right here and you're gonna see it naturally flow out, okay? And there's gonna be two connectors, one right here, and then one right here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just going to loosen that up. You can take a screwdriver or your hand. Um, in my case, I'm gonna use my hand, and I'm gonna loosen that up. There's gonna be a little clip there that And then there's a third connector I forgot about that's laying back there that you're gonna um, take out. So you're gonna see that loosened up and uh, we're gonna move on to the next phase. Okay, so when you count, there's gonna be seven lights when you look up at the front. One, two, three, four, that's gonna be your drive. And I went ahead and pulled from the first gear right here and all you do is just take a um, screwdriver portion and then um, what you can do is you can pull it out and I went ahead and pre-pulled out the uh, other portion. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to um, just have it lined up like the rest of them. I went ahead and put the bad one in the bottom right here. You may want to put a marker here to, to do that. Or if you don't care, then just remember or you'll visually see what you're doing. So um, when you do that, basically put it like that. So... Um, that's just going to basically swap the light so you'll see that D4 turn on here again. And if you're ever curious in terms of replacing any of the main light bulbs, um, all you do for a lot of these is just snap them in and out. And they're pretty easy to do. Or if you want to actually get to the board to desolder anything, if there's LCDs or LEDs back there, then you can take these um, nuts back and um, take this portion out and these circuit boards actually pull apart. There's multiple parts of this. So pretty easy to repair if you're kind of a handy person, but um, we're going to go ahead and put it back together. Okay. So when you're putting it back in, I usually put it in bottom in first so that I have plenty of room to put each of these connectors in. Just make sure you're pretty ginger with these. There's going to be three connectors. It's going to basically be the exact same way reverse. And then um, make sure you hear them snap and that they have solid connections. Um, and then when you put this back, it's going to naturally slide in fairly well. And you remember there's going to be four screws on here. 
and you're gonna put those four screws in and then you're gonna put the plastic over it and put the two screws on top and then uh, um, hopefully we've helped you out and uh, best of luck with your repair okay so you've kind of seen um, us put that this together and you've kind of reversed the step you put everything together I'm gonna show you the lights right here if you notice that D4 is replaced with the updated light and D1 is a broken bulb so that's how you repair your light bulbs on your car and uh, hopefully that's helped